Welcome back everyone. Today we are going to be looking at configuration management. Um, one of the hotter topics over the years uh, began as hype and now quite a few enterprise companies have a real CMDB deployed at uh, varying levels of maturity. We're going to start with a dashboard today that you know pretty much anyone could deploy. Um, and you'll see you know, some of the different measures and key performance indicators that we have available should you move to a higher level of maturity and want something else. Um, you know, this one I think is fairly universal. So first of all, we, we like to describe the CMDB as kind of a balance sheet and the uh, incidents, problems, changes, requests happening and around them is sort of the income statement. It's a good way to describe it to executives as you're presenting a business case. Uh, a lot of the same measures apply. So, you know, CMDB dashboard can be a little bit more boring because, um, you know, it is sort of a balance sheet. You look at it and that's kind of what it is. It um, doesn't have all the um, dynamic processes that you would find within the other process areas that are related to it. Um, that being said, it's critical and important. So we're going to show you how to build something simple and fast here today. Okay, we're going to start with... Uh, totals, okay, CI's total, um, as we always do. It's kind of the core, so we'll, we'll use that. And show that as a card, okay? So this is our uh, first key performance indicator. We have a kind of a one, two, three approach where first level is the KPI, second level is the time series, third level is composition and drill down. So um, We'll explain that further, as and it's probably just easier to show, so we'll do that. Okay, next we're going to go with the uh, age of the CI, okay, and this is a key performance indicator. It will also be a card, so let's drop a new card widget, um, put our average CI age, and this is in months. You could have it be months, years, days, um, kind of depends on the organization there. Um, so, okay, next will be CI age. Uh, then we'll go with percentage of CIs not yet deployed, okay? Um, so, you know, the, you can kind of see how agile you are and, and how uh, quickly you can move uh, new CIs into production at a high level. Okay, so we'll look at percentage of CIs not yet deployed, and we'll do that as a KPI, okay? So this will be... A new KPI widget, select the KPI card, and percentage of CIs not yet deployed. So that needs a value, needs a goal, and also a uh, trend. Okay, get that by year. Okay, and then you know the nice thing about the KPI is you get the visualization behind the scenes from all of your data. So it kind of looks like here, you know, there was a time when we recognized this particular measure, uh, this, uh, you know, as, as something that we needed to address. And then, you know, once you put it on a dashboard, uh, you begin to actively manage it, um, much like the old uh, fuel gauge uh, analogy. Okay, next we're going to add in just one of our scorecard indicators, which will be CMDB management overall. Okay, we're going to have that as a card because it is uh, an index score and okay we'll be looking at see CMDB management overall and that's just a value okay so this is sort of a, it's a critical success factor is what it is uh, it's a composite of multiple KPIs um, so that's what makes it uh, you know best for the scorecard so this is kind of just a number between zero and one um, that, uh, you could have it between one and five. You can really choose any number that you like uh, or that management likes. But uh, it is an indicator here in this case of uh, you know, between zero and one is indicating how well you're doing in the management of the CMDB, however you define it. And this is made up of actual key performance indicators. So that varies at each customer site. Okay, next we're going to look at the uh, CIs total and percentage of CIs not yet deployed by month. Okay. So we can see that, all right. Uh, so let's bring out our bar and line chart. Okay, line and clustered column, fancier way to say that. Okay, look at our total. Using this handy metadata search, CI's total, 
and then we want to get that by month. Okay, so we're looking at where you can use create date. That's fairly universal. Um, okay, so we'll look at month, and you'll see, whoa, there's a whole lot of data there. CMDB deployment goes back pretty far. So let's just focus on where we have quality data for this uh, particular demonstration, and we'll show you 2014 as a page level filter. There we are. Okay, so we'll just look at 2014. And uh, you'll notice how these widgets are connected, so they all adjust. Okay, so here we're seeing that uh, 14,953 CIs were created in August 2014. Okay, but what we want to look at here is, um, you know, when we're struggling to deploy those CIs. So as our line on this chart, that's where we're going to look at the percentage of CIs uh, not yet deployed as the line value. And there we go. Okay. Um, so we can look at that as a percentage. Now, now you want to look at the, the technology type that we're struggling with here. Um, so we'll look at CI's total by product name. And the perfect widget for that really is um, the tree map. So we're going to use the tree map. Uh, look at total. Um, one thing I should mention while we're doing this is that you really, really need to look at the Power BI custom visuals that are available and you can deploy simply by downloading and uh, then importing here to that spot where you download it. We have a video coming up on that, uh, how you can take advantage of that. Okay, um, all right, so next we want to look again at the, um, uh, we want to look at the CIS total by the technology type, okay? Um, so we'll look inside our CMDB attributes here and then we're going to look at the um, product categorization, and we'll look at product name, okay? So this will give you an idea of the composition. Um, so you've got here not specified, always a leader in, uh, you know, uh, indicating where your data quality is poor. Um, very helpful here, and I'll talk about this later on a CMDB adoption dashboard. Some things can't be discovered by the CMDB, so we need to assign those to different groups to assist with data input if they're critical production assets or CIs. Um, this is very helpful in determining the unknowns at a high level and, and even at a low level because we're about to drill down and figure out uh, where those are. So for the drill down, and this is the most critical piece of uh, a BI technology, is the ability to drill down on uh, large sets of data, not just 1,000 records, but a billion uh, that's what you can do very easily here with Northcraft and uh, Power BI as a combination. So we can put in any fields we like from one or more tables from the same report. Okay, that's a uh, you know, pretty important feature, so I'd like to bring that up. Uh, so here you might want to put in that, uh, you know, the, maybe that um, product categorization hierarchy. Okay, we'll drop that in the table. Now we can look at specifically those items. And uh, yeah, there you go. Um, you can put any fields you like. Uh, so that's all up to you. But now as you click around on this data, you see how it's all, um, it's interactive and these are connected. So when I look at August 2014, uh, these are the CIs created in that time period. You can see that, oh, okay, well, um, you know, 4,000 were not specified from that time period. You get an indication here from Power BI in terms of what's grayed out. Uh, I think that's very helpful um, to help you see what data you're looking at. So we'll look at September and just watch the numbers adjust. So 13,000, all your KPIs are adjusting uh, up, up top here um, in relationship to what you're clicking on. So that's something that Tableau, I think, brought to the, to, uh, to the scene in terms of BI, and we support Tableau as well, as we've mentioned many times, uh, among many different BI presentation layers. And uh, we're looking at a BMC Atrium CMDB here, but we support ServiceNow and many others all listed on the website. So that's all we've got today. Uh, went a little bit longer than usual, but I wanted to give you the opportunity to look at a configuration management dashboard. Please let us know if you have any questions. We look forward to speaking with you soon. Thank you.